Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm Tom from PhoneUplink.com and Gaming Entertainers, and in this video I'll be giving you my full review of the Beats by Dr. Dre Solo HD Project Red. So a lot of you requested these headphones for me to review them. They've been out for quite a while now, but like I said, a lot of you requested it, so I'm going to review them. So first off, they are $229 by Monster themselves, or you can go to Amazon or other retailers and get them for about $200, so if you want to save a couple dollars, you can go that route. And yeah, so a little costly, but I'll tell you why I think they are worth the money. So let's start with going a full overview of the headphones. So here are the headphones. Sorry about that. Close the hinge. Here are the headphones. Here's a quick overview of them. Here are the two cups where your ears go, obviously. They are labeled right and left, so you'll know. Cable goes down in here, which actually bothered me for whatever reason. I like having the cable go in on this side. Not quite sure why. But that was a little different for me to get used to. Here you've got your Beats by Dr. Dre logo on both sides. These headphone cups do move left to right and up and down. So you can get the perfect uh, view or placement on your ears. There you go. Up here you've got some soft padding. So that goes on your ears. You've got hinges here, because as you saw, they fold up to become compacted. And, you know, that's pretty much it. These are a pair of headphones, not a whole lot else to see on them. But they do look very nice. And I was going to think originally red would be more of a feminine color. But actually, on these headphones, I'm quite happy with red. I'm not disappointed I got them. Red looks pretty cool, to be honest. So, let's show you the cable really quick. The cable that's included does come with something called Control Talk which is pretty much just your controls, you can control your music. I know it's fully compatible on the iPhone, I'm not sure about other devices. I know on Android I couldn't do some things like turn off the volume or pause. I believe I couldn't pause either. And it also, it's also on microphone, so I have used a microphone quite a bit. It works pretty well. Uh, here are both ends. This end goes into your device. It's L-shaped. And this end goes into your headphones right there. So that's pretty much it for the device. Let me talk, or, or the headphones, let me talk about build quality, because that's a big problem with these headphones. Build quality could be better. As you can hear just by a little shaking, these headphones are, are pretty flimsy for 230 bucks. But that being said, they, I still enjoy them, and I'm not scared I'm going to break them. Now, if you're going to be throwing these around, throwing them in your bag without a case on, dropping them on the ground, they'll probably break eventually. But I take care of mine, I put them in a case, I don't throw them around, and they're doing very fine. Again, $223 or $230 could be a lot better. This feels like some kind of cheap plastic. Uh, in here, feels like plastic. The hinges uh, could be better. You know, build quality up here could be better. Everything could be a lot better than it actually is on these headphones. I know there are a lot of other headphones you can get a lot of better build quality for the money, but I think the real thing they're focusing on is design and audio quality. I don't think they were focusing as much on build quality. And that being said, I haven't heard a lot about problems, people having problems with their headphones, these breaking by damage, these hinges breaking. And I know the so original solos are pretty bad with that problem. I haven't heard as much about these solo HDs, but it does happen. So, I think Monster could have improved on that a lot more than they actually did. Build quality could be a lot better. But, let's get on to sound quality, because that's going to be one of the most important things. Sound quality is where these headphones shine. I listen to these on my Mac practically every day. I use my iMac, I listen to music, and it sounds fantastic. Bass is great, highs, mids, lows are great. Highs could be better on... So let me basically explain what I'm going to say. These are going to be great headphones if you're listening to on a desktop or a laptop. They sound great. I'm blown away by the bass. Highs, mids, lows all sound fantastic. But once you start using a mobile device like an iPhone, it gets a little different. The drivers in mobile devices like the iPhone are not as good, I believe it is. Not as good as in the like desktop and laptops. So you're not going to get the great bass. I have noticed that I definitely am not getting as a lot, there's a lot less bass and highs when I'm listening to it 
with a mobile device. Like my iPhone, I listen to it on my iPhone every day practically. And I do notice that it's not as enjoyable. When you're on an actual desktop, you're like, whoa, that quality is amazing. The bass is great, highs, everything. But again, it's really not a problem with the actual headphones themselves. This happens with all other headphones too. It just depends on the driver and the actual device. So I wouldn't blame that on the headphones. You're going to find that with every other pair of headphones. But again, great quality. I'm very pleased to buy it. For the $230 price tag, I think you're getting great sound quality. And you're definitely not going to be disappointed with the sound quality. So that's, you know, pretty great. So overall, I think these headphones are quite good. Again, build quality could be better. If you want to shell out the extra money and get the studios, I would. Those are better. Those are cup around your ears. And they have better sound quality. Overall, better build quality. I'd be less scared dropping those. And a lot of people, personally, I'm fine with it. But these don't, these don't cover your whole ear. They just cup around them. They don't cover your whole ear and engulf your ear. So your ears might get a little sore. Personally, I've gotten used to it. When I first got them, I noticed it, but now I'm listening to music I don't really notice. So I really like these headphones. Very happy I spent the money on them. If you want to go check them out, go, go to BeatsByDrDre.com, or you can look it up on Amazon. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Beats by Dr. Dre Solo HD headphones.